Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how to create uh, a brigade file card or a file card uh, on the Imagine Image website. First, we're going to, under Gunpowder, click the either Union or Confederate Division file card entry. We'll click Union. And we're taken to the interface where the card is going to be constructed. We can first enter the division or brigade ID. We will call this the first brigade. And we'll just call it a test. And this first commander's name is going to be just first commander. Now, if we were to have a different divisional uh, commander than the brigade commander himself, then the divisional CVS would be entered here. But for our purposes right now, we'll just enter the first brigadier's uh, command or um, CVS values here. We'll give him a one, a one, a six, six, and seven. Then we will select the units that are gonna be in this brigade. We'll have several regular infantry units And we'll take a uh, green infantry unit. And maybe let's change one of these to a green infantry unit. And then what we'll do is we can use this section here for notes. Go here. And that is the extent of all we need to worry about at this moment. Actually, you know what? We'll add an artillery unit as well. So just a light battery of artillery. And then uh, if we wanted to, we could upload an image of the commander and any relevant URL to a website or other document for this unit. And then once we're done here, we can just click submit and the card will appear in this next screen. So we can see that the first brigade test is defaulting to the divisional CVS, which we don't need. We'll just blank that out by hitting the space bar. The first commander's numbers are here, and we'll arrange them appropriately for the card by just using spaces. So his combat morale, tactical aggressiveness, and initiative activation, I should say, initiative, uh, are his numbers. There is no second commander, so we'll just use the space bar to blank those out. And at this moment, it's just the one brigade. So we don't really know if there's any other brigades uh, activation, they'll go here. But for now, uh, we'll blank those out as well. And here we'll just put commander, commander name. Now, another important thing we sometimes forget is the battle name can go here. So this is battle name, name of battle. And then we can see that we have our units listed. And in fact, uh, the green, the regular infantry, the green, uh, regular infantry, and two green infantry and a light battery. So they've already been filled out for us, but we do want to have their names of the units that we actually use. And then <clears throat> because we don't have any other ones, we'll blank these out as well. And in this design of the brigade file card, all the letters underneath each of the rows are for the game cards. If you had a card attached to this unit, for instance, you would circle it or cross it out so that it would uh, actually, no, you would circle it. And then when the card is used and, ex and no longer uh, applies, then you would cross it out. So these are cards that are in the deck that we've summarized here um, and it makes it easy to remember the card is attached uh, to this unit. So there's all different kinds of ones here um, that are generally the ones we want to record uh, being a, uh, capable of being attached to a unit. Um, you will also note that the card is laid out. There are several different types of cards, but this was the one uh, that we use uh, most often because it has the terrain effects you can record here. So the first, the second, and on the third terrain effect, the unit would then get a red hit. 
and so on and so forth. And then, uh, I'm sorry, no, not a red hit. It would become fatigued. And then it would become a fatigued again and fatigued again. And that compounds the unit's uh, value as the game continues. The casualties, this is for recording the casualties, the red hits. Now, if you wanted to record, by the way, um, if you wanted to record the uh, uh, incremental hits, then that would have to be done elsewhere because we don't uh, have an, uh, a, a way of recording incremental hits on the roster card. You could put it above just with a dot if you wanted to or put a dot uh, in the circle and so on and so forth, however you feel like you want to do recording for the incremental hits. And then these events, this is an amorphous uh, column we don't really have a definition for, but it is for notable events. So whenever the unit conducts a notable event, either plus or minus, it's recorded here. And on the third event, uh, something traditionally would happen based on the judge's or discretion or scenario. And this one over here, this column, records the number of rallies the unit has conducted. If it rallies uh, more than twice, essentially, the unit is removed from the game. And that's it. That's essentially the uh, brigade file card for this division. I'm sorry, for this layout. And the reason why that these tabs are up here, they all say the same thing. Well, there's, the reason for that is so that when you print this, this card can go in an index card holder, and the tab that isn't being used for this can be cut off. The tabs that aren't being used can be cut off. And that, uh, when you put this in the uh, index card holder, the tabs allow you to easily finger through and, and select units. Uh, and that was the intention here. Now, when we're done, we've already, uh, this is already in the database, but we need, because we've made the changes, we'll submit this to the database right here so it gets remembered. But before we do that, we actually want to unclick, make sure we don't have any place clicked, and then capture this screen as, as a screen capture. Uh, this region as a screen capture, and then place it into uh, something like Microsoft Word, where we can size it for exactly 4 by 6 We'll demonstrate that. So we're capturing the card. We're going to select the whole card, and then we're going to open up Microsoft Word and paste the card. Now, we don't, at this moment, know if that's a 4 by 6 capture. So what we'll do is we'll insert a box. And see if we can get the properties on that. The size. We'll set it to... Four by six. This is just so we know we've got the right size for the index card. It looks like it might be. It's pretty close. So we'll resize it to fit in that 4x6 area. And this allows us to know where to cut the unit. Now, the other thing about the text box, the using a, the, the, when you use a text box, you want to set all the margins to zero so that the item you place inside there hasn't any uh, margins on it. So the item itself remains at four by six inches, but the item inside it will manually drag to get the right size. So that's essentially four by six right there. And then you're done. And then all you have to do is print it. 
Now let's go back to the website. We'll click Submit. There it is. It was added to the top of the list. So we can click on it and there we see our unit.